the head of state cannot sponsor an impeachment motion against his deputy. Lastly, the Wajir decision of impeachment of the governor, the decision of PJ, Justice PJ Oteno, demands that any impeachment motion must be presented before members of the public for public participation. So if they defy and table the motion tomorrow, that motion must be brought to the Kenyans. And the Kenyans will have to give their views whether they brought in the, uh, the deputy president to be impeached or not. It is our instructions from Sharia Mtani, which represents citizens of this country, that this impeachment motion is a way to divert very fundamental questions Kenyans are asking. Tomorrow, Kenyans are being dragged from NHIF to an entity that Kenyans don't want. That question has not been resolved. The question of Adan and the airports has not been resolved. The question about the funding, the model for funding for students going to university has not been resolved. Those are issues parliament needs to address instead of being preoccupied with the deep president's impeachment. So we are put to the nation that the impeachment of His Excellency the Deputy President is a decoy to allow government proceed and sell KICC, sell the Jomo Kenyatta uh, uh, International Airport and others.